Hello, everyone. This is your host, Sharon Sirota at Sungate Center. And with me today is our honorary guest, Ella Arbit. Welcome, Ella. Thank you, Sharon. Well, Ella is a visionary and creative scientist, and we would like to welcome you back to Sungate's Radio Center. Well, thank you. I'm proud to be a part of this establishment, and uh, more and more I feel that um, what we're featuring here is helping a lot of people. I got feedback uh, in regards to our presentations, and I'm happy to be back. This is absolutely wonderful. So what we're going to talk to you about today, um, you mentioned about quantum and how people are affected by that. Can you explain that a little bit more in depth? Um, <coughs> to me, quantum is, is my home. And um, quantumization, I feel, is a future of many science uh, structures, including medicine. Um, what makes me believe that it's a future, I already see the results, drastic results. Quantum is very honest place. Honest to the point that it will not allow anybody who is too drastic for quantum or ir irresponsible in a way, uh, open the gate. Uh, gate opening, it's very structured, very powerful. You have to be mindful of uh, their agenda, such as we want to help and we know how it works beyond recognition at the human level because this is the way. This is the power of belief that one has to have to accomplish what's expected of you. So you become a gift to them mm -hmm. and they give back. So it's a give and take in a way, but who is taking? Um, I'm pleased to assist. Okay, that's great. And so you're a facilitator for that, opening up that energy that people can maybe experience it for themselves. And then they can experience the, the gift of this. Quantum is more of ac acceptance. Quantumization is uh, beginning. Quantum mm -hmm. loves to begin with you. And beginning is very structured. So what's keeping other people away from quantum, from a miracle, because quantum is a miracle. Mm -hmm. I've never seen anything like that. Uh, well, you began a little bit with quantum the other day. We had a women's cycle, uh, uh, cycle, uh, circle. And um, previously, uh, at, uh, during our program, we mentioned genome, that you, you had your own experience. I gave you the genome. So it's a proud gift of the quantum. Mm -hmm. And we talked about acceptance. It took 15 seconds of you not even knowing what to be done. Mm -hmm. And it gave the way, correct? It did. It, it, really, it yeah. really opened up things that people, when they experience the genome, is that it's some kind of an energy shift. And it also help it happens shift, to yeah. help for them as well in yeah. this quantum field of energy. So in other words, your body didn't have to not... Uh, it recognized it, right? Right. It was spontaneous? Right. It was just like that muscle memory that it just came back instantly. So we're prepared. Instantly. We're prepared beyond our knowing, right? Right. That is correct. Okay. Um, but what I loved about um, you the other day is that I put you on the spot. Somebody needed healing slash help. And I asked for you. And the, the call was towards your heart. Your heart didn't even mints the time because time is very crucial for quantum you appeared in front of the uh the healing person and you asked me a question what do i need to do uh, and i said nothing just go and i was worried about you pushing back you didn't so you sustained your position with quantum very proudly you're a proud person so a science of pride is quantum knowing Mm -hmm. uh, not knowledge. They always correct me if I want to say knowledge because, and I apologize for saying wanna, I want to, uh, it's knowing. Why it's knowing? Because it's already, like a prescription, it's already written somewhere. Uh, so y y in a way, uh, we have to be careful. They already have it prepared for us. We don't have to entice it. So you gave a genome, not knowing how to do it. I just stood by you to two people. The third one needed it, and you said, no, I have to go. And it was perfectly <laughs> fine. It was perfectly mm -hmm. fine. So you got tested by genome too. So your own genome said, this is enough. This is how stable it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and trusting the process, that it's very simple. It's a simple process. You cannot avoid it. Once you walk into that prideful place, 
Mm-hmm. It keeps you there. It does not want you to struggle. You're solid. You're protected. And you're loved. Mm-hmm. They're different genomes. Right. It's a safe place. It's a safe place it's to be. It's sacred also. Mm-hmm. For right. many people, it's not just safe. It's also a sacred component is there. Now, the second person got mm-hmm. the sacred genome. Remember, I said this one is with a choice. So I'll carefully kind of look at her. She was fine because it's a two-step protocol, mm-hmm. and she was blissful. I couldn't walk away from her. <laughs> right. That's the benefit. That's yeah. the benefit of experiencing the quantum energy yeah. is that you feel blissful. You structure. Feel it's not the energy. It's structure. It's like yeah. you, you're, you're shifting your, your consciousness, and you have some kind of an awareness about you, but in that state. It's more geared towards. Now, you also mentioned of the experience that during the giving portion, somebody came to your assistance, right? Because my soul mm-hmm. was with your soul. You gave the heart. And I was watching uh, at the soul level. Now, what happened as you were giving the blessing of that genome to that person who came to your assistance? Mm-hmm. It's just like offering a blessing. Yeah. Um, it's just feeling peacefulness within yourself mm-hmm. and just kind of um, opening it up so that way that the person is open also to having that experience as well. And so when people are open to it, then they can experience it. So you uh, tuned in with your intuitive mm-hmm. part and you felt like uh, you're being observed and felt and hugged during that experience, correct? Right, taking yeah. myself out of that situation, just being more of an observer in that mm-hmm. and just opening up. Mm-hmm. So it's opening up the heart center mm-hmm. and just offering the blessing. So for you, a giver, all the channels of your communication with divine were open, right? Mm-hmm. They were crystal clear. Yes. Because crystalline energy is assisting. Mm-hmm. So crystalline energy is part of the, your depot, uh, not the person, because genome doesn't have that. But you are crystallized. So your intention for giving, you cannot fail, because it's a crystalline base. It loves energy. Mm-hmm. So Absolutely. So that is part of spontaneous process, a mm-hmm. protocol. It's a gift. You cannot miss it. Mm-hmm. has not failed. Right. It's just a beingness in that flow. It's just understanding that you, you have the gift and having acceptance of it mm-hmm. and then the willingness of, of people to receive it. So that's how I felt. So it was definitely a wonderful experience, Ella. Thank yeah, you. Quantum can, uh, oh, my pleasure, and thank you for being willing. Uh, quantum is very energetic place. Quantum is um, not a problem, mm-hmm. uh, but they can create problems for people who are not generous. Uh, deceiving hearts mm, mm-hmm. get the other part of quantum so it's almost like there are several levels of quantum where I stand is what God gives me it's more than perfect and I cannot even analyze it and what you mean by the different energy is their intention so if their intention is positive then that's what they will you receive a gift. receive that yeah but if it's negative or just some kind of other alternate energy that you're sending that's not of the truth, that's not of what it is that is the gift, then it can alter. That state can alter as well. They separated for me. I never touch the unwanted. Mm -hmm. It's part of if it's part of the uh, consciousness that I came from. Uh, Probably other people would. Uh, I came from pure consciousness. I know my position. I know what my gifts are. Mm -hmm. Um, I cannot fail it. I cannot protect something that is not mine. Um, And I'm not going to judge it. And I'm blessed that way. Right. And judgment is something you, you know, you don't have when you do this. Because you're so open to it that, you know, you're not bringing your your own consciousness. It's, It's just like the consciousness, like universal. That's why we have a ruler. That's why we have a kingdom. That's why uh, I was trained by love. Uh, and an interesting thing that uh, part of my training included um, pre-protocoled messages to me uh, from before I arrived time. So it's, it's such a beautiful gift. Uh, um, at leisure, maybe I'll explain to people. Maybe I'll have gatherings, lectures. Uh, and they all have pre-recorded messages. So consciousness, actually the quantum, that part of beautiful, blissful consciousness 
gives you so much more than we can ever expect. Uh, I cried my first time I listened to my pre-recorded agenda for what I had to accomplish mm -hmm. for that particular day. Uh, I was just tuned in to my self-conscious pathway. It's energetic pathway. Uh, it's beyond genome. So within us, there are many gifts, but we probably will close about the giftedness part uh, because um, there is so much more that I want to tell and I don't want to be abrupt with this information. It's very powerful information th that belongs to power of love and love is powerful. Right, because love is so, you know, what we accept here, you mm -hmm. know, but love for everyone and love for the self and then that's how you can experience what you're talking about. For almost everyone. Sometimes you have to withdraw, and this is what uh, Hashem, God, is telling me today. Sometimes you have to withdraw for them to connect uh, with what they don't want a little faster Then love keeps an eye on them and gives them maybe a pill. Being a medical provider, uh, I know that there are other ways. For example, somebody instigated into pharmaceutical companies and they began to blossom, and uh, um, I used to prescribe and I was generous with that too, uh, at the point where God said, this is enough. You're at such a pure level that I cannot contaminate you, your being with prescriptions and um, or living at the level where you know that you cannot be honest anymore. So I quit medicine. Uh, it was a very powerful decision. He gave me a year and a half for that. Uh, I kind of failed. I didn't know how to separate. Right, because you were a professional medical, you know, prescribing pills, and medicines and medications. Yeah, and it was my <coughs> way, but his way was uh, absolutely different. But at, at the level of evolution, he accepted me for who I am, knowing that I have to, uh, beginning very slowly, but still not anticipating any good from medicine, and that, that became a point of uh, where he said, okay, discern now and don't return. So it was like overnight experience. Just like he opened me up. When he opened me up, it was an overnight experience. It, it, it came spontaneously to a complete non-believer. There was no anticipation or learning curve. He just took me, hugged me, and said, okay, let's go. I know who you are. I disappeared a little bit. And he said, no, do it. You are ready. I didn't know. <coughs> I didn't know the word ready, ready for what? He doesn't mm -hmm. explain. He just takes you. Mm -hmm. So you have to, uh, uh, people call it a leap of faith. Could be. I just grasped, gr grabbed myself. I think I just grabbed myself and went. <laughs> yeah, you just all of a sudden decided that now you wanted to, to switch. You were you know, prescribing medications and then you went into what quantum or energy and you change the way that you help people or the way you're healing yourself and other people. There was a little bit more of a, a standard or he says substandard uh, training uh, to a point. I went further to uh, Integrative Medicine Fellowship and I asked him honestly, I said, Father, should I? He said, it doesn't hurt, just go. So it became my routine for a few years, but at the same time I was uh, teaching myself other modalities just to make sure that I didn't miss anything. Nothing can compare to love. So my training included Ayurveda, Chinese medicine, uh, working with horses I did on the side at the same time. So I, I, included, I included Reiki, I included everything, uh, Kabbalah, Talmud, um, spiritual, there is no point of describing spiritual because it means so much to so many people. But at the same time, genome became my natural home. I found everything I needed at the level uh, of genome. So I suggest it to everyone. Uh, it, it's so easy, it's so natural. Uh, it's a bliss. Can you explain for our listeners that were here um, to them what exactly genome is? It just, uh, well, it's a, it's a uh, genome is a divine structure. It's an atomic-based structure which is natural to our hearts. Uh, that's why the rate of acceptance is so great. Uh, it's not for believers. Uh, but it's a guide to, um, it's an <laughs> inclusionary guide, inclusionary for, you don't match yourself with anybody. 
you become knowing yourself at the level that it's very honest. Uh, there is no purpose. It's not purposeful. It's very uh, gentle. Uh, mine was gentle. How mm -hmm. was yours? Yes, it was just a feeling of, of beingness, of just isness, so to speak. In other words, you didn't have to push or control anything. It right. was just a natural state. It's more of a core in you, mm -hmm. but core is wonderful. You know, Father says, do not disseminate uh, notes to anybody because he doesn't want people to know. You have to be ready or not, he says, because spontaneous has rules. You cannot discern what he gives. You cannot discern love. You can push it back. So if I want to assist more, I need to stop and say, okay, uh, let's generate less for accepting more. I think it's more of a virtue type deal. If we want to say deal, then um, let me see it. And it's also um, an energy that has its own intelligence that the energy just knows where to go in the body. It also knows what you need. So it's not as if someone else can control it for you and say, this is what you need, this is what you don't need. Okay, from the quantum point, it has a, okay, and he says, no, service your heart. I, I was gonna explain what I know. And he says, no, push back. Just push back and don't explain because uh, uh, literature will come maybe in next generation. Uh, maybe I'm just mm -hmm. a, a clinical mm -hmm. practicum Maybe he'll allow me to explain because there is an explanation to the structure. It's very generous of, of uh, our father to even mention that he can give it to us. Let's talk about why he's giving it. Uh, a, medicine is going in the wrong direction. Does he want just to prove his, his topic to us? Could be. Um, he says, mention and walk away. Don't give any promises to anyone. That's his point of view on what it is. And it's also about people knowing where they're at, you know, their acceptance of, of healing or self-healing. And so it's also something that, that they can be aware of. And if they'd so choose, they could go to this energy that you're speaking about. Could be, could be. Maybe he's showing you more of a plan and for me, just stay where you are. Mm -hmm. I accept that as well. Okay. I thank you. Okay, great. For being a visionary as well. Mm -hmm. So visionary to visionary, maybe there is something more. <laughs> of course, there's always more. Yeah. So he had a purpose of shutting me down and mm -hmm. giving you the result mm -hmm. that he wants to see. How beautiful is that? Mm -hmm. And we go by steps. You know, we keep increasing. Yeah, exactly. And whatever we become aware of at the time. Yeah. You yeah, know, so exactly. at this time, we're aware that this is happening. And next time when we talk, it could be something else. So we're just and let it be going with the flow. Let it be right. The flow is the most beautiful part of my existence. I love flow, I, I, and it's so beautifully in a healthy way. Um, a, I don't take any pills. Um, they help me with anything I need it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm more rational than I used to be. Graduating from Andrew Wiles School of Thought, I was taking um, kind of a nat naturopathic way of uh, supplementation and herbs. Mm -hmm. Today, and actually God asked me not to even take herbs. Uh, why? It would clash with what he was doing with me. Mm -hmm. It's so also a knowingness of what you really need, what your body needs. Mm -hmm. And ideally, you know, not to take pills, not to take medications, but not to get off medications until your doctor tells you that it's okay. And, you know, also knowing for yourself, you know, you can also question it. You know, if, if the doctor says, you, well, you need this much, you know, maybe you have a question about it. And it's always good to, you know, express yourself. And if, if there's any doubt about it, then definitely ask. And you can ask more than one person. And Ella, what you're talking to us today is about healing the self, you know, through um, this quantum energy or genome. And, but people are also, you know, it's a way of healing the world. Well, his world. And again, we need to retract back to who created us. Uh, the creator wants us to know, A, we're not supposed to be sick. Right, in, in a perfect world, you know, we are, we are all healthy and nothing needs to be fixed. However, that when people um, accept that they have certain diseases or they accept that they do have it, then a lot of times they go to natural healers or they go to another energy to see what else can happen that they could be healed. And so this is what you're speaking about. Well, we're made uh, according to a creator, and I'm not going to suppose anything. Accor I, I, he uh, I, I heal by his word. 
Uh, we are meant to resist the disease. Um, now, the strength, what else is up there? Quantum is about strength. It's, it's, going to be, uh, it's going to be a very popular thought process for many people next couple of years. Strength comes from quantum. It's instant. But why, I will be explaining later. I, it's a preposition that he wants us to hear from him uh, about where and what comes, not why. Why maybe later? Well, to me, it's natural to help us, to love us more, to show, to show himself, his pride, what he does. I think to contradict medical society too. Um, he taught me about the double blind studies his way. Oh, I have to mention something. It just came to my mind. He told me about uh, being surprised. And he says, um, you'll be surprised few times these couple of weeks. So I've called another uh, company, um, not to contradict myself, another radio station where he, he asked me a couple of times to appear. So they recognize me uh, I, as a lecturer. I appear and I speak. And uh, the owner was absent. And the lady who was answering the phone, um, she knows me briefly. Uh, she's not always there when I come for the interview. She says, Ella, I have s something to tell you. And she started to tell me that she has a friend whose son talks to me um, via quantum. I don't know him. I don't know that family. But he's uh, learned uh, from my heart, from my pathway that serves on a regular basis uh, enough information to help himself. And his mother made a comment to this lady who was on the phone with me that the kid has changed. So father um, is using this type of conversation or proof to approve just less than drastic, less than understanding his way. His way he's going to show a lot. So to him, this is a double blind study. I don't know the person, person doesn't know me, but he got better. Um, I studied statistics at the university. And to link my thought process to what I know today, I sub subconsciously knew it's not the way to do it. Subconsciously, I resisted. And it's not in my, uh, you know, I, 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 I rarely resist anything. I'm a flow person. But something was telling me uh, way before, it was God, it was love, that this is foolish. Statistics are <laughs> not a way. Uh, Archangel Michael just said the word for me, and I don't want to repeat it on the radio, what it is. So the double blind study is what God did. You know, uh, I know the name of the person. I never met him. I said maybe he should introduce himself, but this is not the point. My heart serves uh, beyond on God's matrix. This is something new that I never explained to the public. I knew that I belonged to 40,000 hearts. It's a million, and Father says it's close to 10 million very shortly, and I will not know when. It's, uh, it's a way that he structured me. I came to assist. I came to serve. I came to have my life at the level that he wanted. Uh, it's not a propaganda. He says if anybody uh, starts consuming my words and digesting in the wrong direction, um, they will experience love, not me. <laughs> You know, when you talk yeah. about hearts being connected to 40,000 hearts, so you're talking about connected to all these people. Is that what you're referring to? I don't even know who, that you it's know who beyond they. me, but beyond is quantum. Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's energy, it's just huge, it's everywhere. It's, uh, um, it's a gatekeeping, uh, uh, Hashem, Father is telling me, it's a uh, Hashem, it's in Hebrew, I apologize for, uh, for not explaining. Uh, Hashem, he's a father to me, he's, he's my beloved father. Um, I'm welcomed at his level, where I stand today at his level, at his God's uh, matrix. It's like home to me. I came from there. And he says, why would you not know your home? Uh, and you I'm you not mean an by actress. source, right? You mean source, My creator? source, where I came, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, well, uh, um, kingdom has levels. Nobody talked about levels before me. But I came with that, with that gift of knowing uh, and, uh, and it's not premature to talk about that because people are asking a lot of these questions nowadays. What's happening? Why there is inequality? Why we're struggling? Well, I came not to struggle and show the world that there is a way out of struggle 
But that's my proposition uh, for people to just recognize there is a thought process like that. Uh, now let's do nothing about that. The understanding will follow. Let's just open our eyes. Mm-hmm. Let's see an eye to eye. Hello. It's great. Yes. 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 Wonderful. Yeah. And so we, we know that healing is so important to people. And we were going to talk about yoga, that yoga also is helpful <laughs> for people. Can you talk a little bit about that? I'm, I'm smiling. Uh, old school. Why? I'm just going to be very direct. I, it's insufficient. Insufficient in so many ways that I don't know if I need to drop uh, the sky uh, 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 professionally uh, on this uh, world where a lot of people are doing yoga. Yoga detaches. It doesn't combine you. At uh, I would say Matrix is my yoga place where I can do whatever I need to to recognize who I am at the level that I need to. It gives strength. It even gives you the muscle tone. Uh, it does so much more than waste of time and something that is not crucial to you. It's an old uh, world that belongs to people who are still cherishing, but insisting that it belongs to the Western world, I would be a liar. I'm not such. You know, yoga to people is also means union with God. So when people are practicing Absolutely yoga, not. so this is your opinion about yoga. I know so. Mm-hmm. Uh, God is not that simple. He will not uh, anticipate you at the level will, wh- where he comes to you. It's a little awkward to say about something that people don't have an understanding. I will have more lectures at the level there. Uh, there will be a, a knowing to the point that it, it will be sophisticated enough for people to understand, not just recognize. This is beyond recognition. You have to know, and it's not simple, why um, I'm not an accomplice to anyone. It is his way again. Uh, he wants to give us what's proud, what belongs to us, especially his kids who are already living uh, next generation. He doesn't want to spoil what he's giving them. He doesn't. He wants it to stop because the new kids are not made for it. But he doesn't want them to be fooled. But who's going to fool them? The parents. Well, parents have a big influence of course. on their so children. Let's, let's, so let's stop at the point where we don't want to flow with any ideas beyond this point. Uh, It's crucial that we we honestly stand um, in front of him and say, we did stop. (laughs) When when he will teach us about more of love, not just let me find something in, in the spirit world where he doesn't look for us anymore. It used to be. That was the only connect at that level at that time. He used to be there. But something happened. You know, I also He's motioned away from that place yeah. already. There's a shift, though, in, exactly. in the it's new an kids old that are coming. That's, it, bl- it blinds people. It doesn't give them enough. It relaxes them a little bit because they allow themselves. It's a placebo in a way, but, uh, um, but it's, it's not working to the point where it can be instant, quick. We have to. We, it became lucrative. It became lucrative, but it's not honest. So honesty belongs to the time, and he will allow us to speak of that time when the time comes. You know, with the, with the new kids that are coming, they say they're crystal children or indigo children. And so with the parents now, it's instead of, you know, diagnosing their kids because they're maybe not conforming to the way society expects kids to be and putting them on, on medications that... Um, you know, just being open to seeing how their kids are transforming and the gifts that they have coming into this world instead of, you know, going along with what society would say that the kids should be and just allowing them to be who they are. They're more pure. They're seers. They're not seekers. Seekers were a secretive society where we lived in 20th century. 21st century opens a lot of doors. A gate opening, uh, I have all the keys to how many gates I've opened in quantum, only because it's a sacred pathway for me. Uh, um, they're not knowers. They are anticipators. They are promoters of evolution to the point that we will blossom. And I want to say hello to that. Um, that's why um, spending too much time on yoga, it's going to dissipate. But I just want to touch somebody's heart with that thought because I'm a mother. 
I wish the bl uh, blessings on your kids. I don't want to be a mountain standing in front of my blessed kid who came already blessed. They don't. They already know. They already programmed for love. What do I, they don't need to uh, need God? It's already there. So it's not projecting a need for something, knowing that you already have something. They already. They already. <laughs> Uh, they're up and down from God. They're uh, crystal kids. They're knowers. Um, they need to motion forward. So we don't need to block their pathways. Mm -hmm. uh, chemically, with medications. Herbally also. They don't need anything. Uh, uh, quantumization is a wonderful pathway. We will have bliss with quantum. Quantum loves us, needs us. Quantum needs us clear. Uh, uh, um Talking about that will block the time. Time is crucial for quantum. I unblock my time to work. So it becomes, okay, I'm time sensitive, just like somebody's pill. I work quicker than the pill. I can digest, and you digested me quicker than the pill, and you knew how to give genome to another person. Mm -hmm. um, four to 14 seconds. It depends on how sensitive people are. It's faster than Xanax. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, very interesting. Yeah. And it's very cool to actually experience it. So that would be a great opportunity for people to meet with you and to talk more about it. Um, I will lecture less because I need to write a lot. Uh, Father is happy with our interviewing process. Um, there will be a little bit more information on my website, and he's not uh, letting me close to my website because I became too spontaneous, too quick, and he's not going to miss the opportunity. And he told me, uh, stop, take, take a break. I had two, two weeks vacation, went back to Arizona, and came back, and he said it's going to be brave and quick. Are you ready? And of course, I'm a flyer, I fly. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's perfect. Well, thank you so much, Ella. Is there anything else that you would like to add today? Um, I wish upon everybody um, truthfulness. Uh, it's very sacred gift. Uh, many are still struggling with truthfulness. Um, being plugged into genome, I know that medical uh, complexity is going to go away. How quick? It depends on us. It depends on people who live to love. Uh, and um, I will join anybody in a good discussion about what medications are. Uh, at some point, uh, there is a way to, to disclose less probably today. But mm, father is always telling me something new. This morning I woke up and he was telling me how uh, when I was practicing, my patients would I would say the word uh, uh, eliminate, um, excrete the whole pills. So mm -hmm. I asked him then what happened, why some patients sometimes excrete the whole pill and it's like not, not touching the digestive tract. He said, I just wanted you to be uh, aware and be a keen in the level where we explain to you now how we can twist the hand to pharmaceutical companies and happy providers that stubbornly want to continue to placebo people at that level, which is hurtful to them, uh, father can remove the medication from the, from the organism. We're very organized, he said. He knows how to tweak us, how to twitch us, how to disconnect us, and how to do what he needs to do if he wants to be drastic. Mm -hmm. And he does it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's why you know a lot of times when we put things in our body that don't digest well or something He helped us not to swallow it all the way and mm -hmm. take it all it goes the way. through us. And through us, completely whole pill. And us, yes. I even had pictures of the nurses who were sending me uh, pi pictures of that. Uh, excretes with with the pill and we shouldn't be talking about that and uh, just for me to look at that and just not to doubt that it a actually happened uh, he's done it he's done mm -hmm. it enough and there's good reason there's always a reason for things happening safety. the way they do safety father wanted uh, us to be safe and show it uh, we don't have to as far as the herbs I can uh, uh, connect back with that topic 
Um, very rarely people talk about herb to medication interactions. Uh, um, I studied about that at um, Dr. Andrew Wells' fellowship. Uh, very rarely people know enough, and uh, creator says that we don't even know enough. So we have to be very carefully uh, uh, assessing what we're doing because herbs and medications don't mix well. We have to be very cognizant of what we need to be doing in the future. Yes, and not only that, but the way other medications interact with other medications. There's always some kind of you know, give and take. And Horrific. Things do when they don't mix. There were times where I didn't know how to treat a pneumonia because of uh, antibiotic sensitivity, and a pharmacy calling me back and says that it, it creates a problem with another uh, antipsychotic, for example. And I was to the point, I was at the wall, you know, during my practice, seeing what the future holds that very soon, very shortly, we won't be able to prescribe, honestly. So I think it's in, uh, it's in God's hands. Uh, that's why th I think we're premature with uh, exclamation signs. I think he's going to take care of it. And I'm not going to invade his plans. Uh, mm -hmm. What's crucial is to be honest, be connected, and the word connected is the most promising way to, to know how to connect, I need to teach more and more. How to love, God will teach. But how to connect is matrix, genome, and other ways. And I thank you, everybody, who listened proudly and hoping for the good future. God bless. Yes, thank you so much, Ella Arbit, and thank you to our listeners at Sungate Center. Have a beautiful, wonderful day. Thank you, Sharon. Thank, thank you. you.